mask up and take a trip with Living 808 to the Bay Area. So far in San Jose, we've explored a tech museum and taken a burrito challenge. <laughs> yes. Still will have those online if you want to check it out. Today we are checking out an amusement park and zoo. It's called Happy Hollow Park and Zoo, mm -hmm. and it's a popular place for families who want to take uh, and experience nature, take a spin on a few rides. Mikey is on the move and went tripping with Alaska Airlines. It is a beautiful day here in sunny San Jose, California, which means I have to introduce all of you to one of my really good friends. Now, she is a zoo curator here at one of the local zoos in San Jose, California. Her name is Heather Berzel, and she said she's going to take this wild guy on a wild ride into Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. Okay, so Heather, so tell us a little bit about your background at Happy Hollow Park and Zoo, what the park is about, and what guest experiences do you guys offer? Well, I started here as a zookeeper in 1989. I've actually been here for 32 years this year, and now I'm zoo curator. Happy Hollow is a very unique facility, and it is very exciting. We cater to children 12 and under, but we really do, we're for everybody, adults, children, everyone. Kids can get close to nature, there's nature play, they're outside, they can ride the rides, they can see the animals. We've got the picnic basket restaurant where you can get ice cream. Um, there's just all sorts of things to do here. A lot of fun that families can experience here at Happy Hollow Park and Zoo, but they can also, you know, get in touch with nature. What kind of interactions or interactive activities can all of our guests experience when they come here? They can experience nature in many different ways. We're a beautiful park right in the middle of San Jose. They can get up close with the jaguar, the lemurs. We even have meet and greets where they can literally see animals up close up on the park side. Um, they can walk through our nature play area and do parallel play like our leaping lemurs play area. You know what's really awesome about Happy Hollow Park and Zoo is the fact that you guys support local wildlife. How is Happy Hollow doing that in San Jose? We support local wildlife through um, creek cleanups. We run Coyote Creek right behind the zoo. We are um, doing conservation on a global scale. We support the mountain gorillas in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, we sell honey to help support the gorilla rangers. We do FUSA conservation, jaguar conservation through SSPs, through the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. A lot of fun and a lot of wildlife. Now, I'm gonna say, let's get wild and ride some rides and explore the park. Where should we start? Should we go this way? Absolutely. We're gonna go this way. Continuing our trip at Happy Hollow Park and Zoo, and you have another animal to show me, right? There's someone really special to introduce you to. Am this I gonna is... be scared? Maybe a little. Okay, <laughs> who are we seeing? This is Bayou, he's our American alligator. Let me see if I can get him to come over and play. Okay, <laughs> hopefully. You, you wait right here. Okay, if he comes over and play, this barrier is still gonna be here, right? Yes, you can okay. hold the camera up, just don't drop it, because he'll eat it. This is cool and scary at the same time. <laughs> there he is. Hi, Bayou. All right, Heather, who are we seeing next? We're gonna see the fennec foxes. Okay, so whenever I hear the word fox, I always think of the song, What does a fox say? <laughs> uh, we're seeing foxes, fennec foxes. And they're so cute, their ears are huge. I really like foxes in general, and then you add the big ears, done. They can actually hear insects that are two feet underground. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. The two little ones, as part of one of the species survival plans, um, it's like computer dating for animals. Oh, wow. And so <laughs> they called this the um, stud book keeper, had us bring a fennec fox male from the Honolulu Zoo. Oh. So their dad is from Honolulu. That's so cool. Heather, thank you so much for taking myself and all of our viewers here to Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. Now, if they wanted to plan a trip to come out here, how can they do so? They can check us out at happyhollow.org, and we're also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay, now, Heather, I know my cameraman, Austin, he's been doing so great at his job. 
and he wants to ride some rides. Is it okay if I take him on some rides? Absolutely. I've got to go, but you two are more than welcome to stay, enjoy the park, and ride those rides. Make sure you check out the Pacific Fruit Express. We will do. Thank you so much, Heather. And aloha. Aloha. <laughs> What a Aww. cute place. 60 years there in <clears throat> San Jose and get up close with really cute animals too. I like the, uh, the, the local boy, the, the fox from Hawaii. I was going to say, <laughs> what, what does that fox say? He says aloha. <laughs> <laughs> there would be more foxes there for everyone to enjoy. And of course, we want to send a big mahalo to Alaska Airlines for sending Living in Wait, tripping to explore West Coast cities and uncover fun experiences in each destination. Alaska has the most nonstop flights to the most West Coast destinations, so they know the way to San Jose. Nonstop flights from Honolulu, Kona, Kahului, and Lihue. Alaska Airlines is committed to providing a higher standard of safety, cleanliness, and flexibility throughout your journey from mask requirements and touch-free travel options to HEPA filters on board and no change fees ever. There are low fares available right now through <coughs> the end of the month and the next level care we talked about. Visit alaskaair.com to plan your trip. Book now, mask up, and go tripping.